All right, so the first and the most easy way to install the Pro Panel is gonna be with the Auto Installer. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to double click on the folder. You're gonna select the Pro Panel Auto Installer in this Pro Panel folder, and then just right click and copy, and then right click on your downloads and paste. Now go up to File under Photoshop, and then go to Scripts, and then Browse, and then locate your downloads folder and you're gonna see the auto installer right here. So what you're gonna do is select that and then click load. And you're gonna get this box that pops up and says that the installation is complete. So then click okay and then restart Photoshop. So go up to file and then exit. Then you're gonna reopen Photoshop. And then when you reopen up Photoshop, go under window and then extensions and you'll see the pro panel here. Click on the pro panel. The box will pop up here on the right and then you're simply gonna copy your license key from the downloads page or your email and then paste that right here and click activate and then close Photoshop and reopen it to a fully functioning panel. So the second method of installation is gonna be the ZXP method. So to do this, you're gonna need a ZXP downloader. So in this case, I've downloaded the Anastasia Extension Manager for Windows. So once you have the Extensions Manager open, you're gonna go back to your Pro Panel files Right click on this ZXP file here, click copy, and then right click on your downloads and paste. Now reopen up the extensions manager here, click install, and then go to your downloads. You're gonna see the ZXP file right there, so select that, and then click open. And it'll tell you that the installation was successful, so all you need to do is click OK, and then close Photoshop, and reopen it. And then again, once you open Photoshop, go up to Window and then Extensions, you'll see Pro Panel right there. Click that, and it'll pop up here to the right. And then simply enter in your license key provided with the downloads, and then click Activate. Close Photoshop and reopen your Photoshop to a functioning panel. And if you tried the Auto Installer as well as the ZXP method, the last resort is going to be the Manual Installation, and that's foolproof. So to do the Manual Installation on Windows, Ideally, you're gonna have this open up in one window, and then you're gonna open up a second one. And this is so that you can have your Pro Panel folder open up in one window to access the files, and you can find the correct extensions folder to paste the files into in your other window. So first you're gonna navigate over to Program Files, so find your hard drive, and then go to Program Files, and then Common Files, and then Adobe, and then CEP, and then extensions. So here you're gonna open up the Pro Panel manual installation folder under the Pro Panel files. And you're gonna right click on this Pro Panel file here and copy and go back to the extensions folder and you're gonna paste that into the extensions folder. So be sure that when you're pasting it into the extensions folder, you're not pasting it into a folder in the folder, but actually into the extensions folder. Now you're gonna simply go up to file and then exit out of Photoshop and when you reopen up Photoshop, you're gonna go up to Window and then Extensions, and you'll see the Pro Panel here. So once you click on that, the box will pop up right here on the right. You're gonna enter in the provided license key that came with your download, and then click Activate, and then close Photoshop and reopen it to a fully functioning panel. 